Welcome to Tracy Long Training. I'm Susan Harris. This stability ball workout will give you a combination of core training and non-traditional strength work. Lauren will be doing the more modified version and Anne will be doing the challenging version. So let's get the ball and get rolling. Inhale. Exhale, circle to the right. All the way through. And again, rotate all the way around. Step in, inhale. Lean back, don't arch. And exhale forward, slowly breathe out. Lunge the other way and rotate. And again, bring your foot in, lunge to the right. Down and up, push to the heel. Shoulder, knee, hip alignment. Chest upright, shoulder blades pinching. Down and up. Now rotate inward. Follow the ball with the collarbone and head. Feel your core engage as you rotate. Pull the belly flat. Two to go. And dip back with the right leg. Lift the arms, touch the toe, and do it again. Dip back, touch your toe, do it again. Dip, tap, change sides. Dip and tap. Now lunge, ready? Down. Dip again, lift the arms. Add a knee lift if you can. Change sides and lunge. Dip with a knee, down and up. Lunge again to the right and left. Dip, try to add a kick, push to the heel. Change sides, lunge. Do that again with a kick. Down, up, step touch. Bring the ball to the side. Add a hop now if you want. Be careful, jump precisely, squeeze the glute. Bring the ball overhead. Elbow to the waist and in front of the hip now. And overhead, elbow down, use your core here. And in front, pull in, in, overhead. And in front, pull. Again, overhead. Feel your waist. And in front, last set. Get ready to lunge to the right. Rotate. Now dip with a knee and lunge to the left. Dip with knee. Lunge the other way. Dip with a kick this time. Push to the heel. Now lunge. Keep your chest lifted. Dip, heel, and release. Great job. Place the ball down. We're going to put the ball between the legs. Bring the right leg forward. Place the ball in the hole. Take a pelvic tilt right over that ball. Feel the hip flexor stretching. Shoulders back. Lift the left arm up and stretch. Lengthen your side. Bring the arm down. Roll the ball out. Pelvic tilt and dip. Now hamstring stretch and dip. Pull the pelvis forward. Hamstring and dip. Chest lifted. Now lean. Once more, pelvic tilt. Release and roll to the front. Extend the arms right under the shoulders. Balance. Lift the leg. Release it down. Spread the feet out. Practice and stretch your right side. Practice and stretch your left side. Now move fast on the right. Down, up. Lengthen through your latissimus dorsi as you're reaching out. Hold in the center. Elongate, don't push the shoulders down, round the back. Again, don't let the shoulders drop through. Now lunge on the other side fast, press out, in, lunge and lift, two. And into the center again, stretch those lats, lengthen through your back, round in, one more time. Lengthen, round in, come up, bring the left leg forward, place the ball in the hole, 
take a pelvic tilt, squeeze your glute, shoulders back, stretch your right arm up, lengthen through your side, bring the arm down, roll the ball out, pelvic tilt, dip, hip flexor, hamstring, hip flexor, chest lifted, now hamstring with a straight spine, again, push the hips through, and lean, once more, pelvic tilt, release to the front, roll that ball out, balance, hands right under the shoulders, long neck, and release down. Spread your feet out a little bit. Bring that in under you. Let your body drop through. Round your body up. Now fast, drop. Shoulder retraction and protraction. So you're contracting where your wings are. And then you're spreading your wings. Strengthening and stretching your upper back. It's critical as we age. Roll to the top and release. Rotate your shoulders and let's move ahead. We're gonna do some dumbbells now. You'll need a heavy pair, mid to heavy weight. We'll have a seat on the ball. Arms to the side, feet, knees about hip width. We'll begin with some squats right off the ball. Let your ball fill with air, but don't come all the way off. With kickbacks, up. Push in your heels. Arms are aligned with the body. Keep your shoulders open, chest lifted. Feel your glutes engage, up. Now sit and open the arms in a V. Scaption pinch, out. Sitting tall and straight. Out and in. Push, pull, two. Lift once more, and now tricep squat. Do that again. Chest out, shoulder blades pinching, then kickbacks. Just fill the ball with the air. Pull the belly in, lift. Now fast with squats with kickbacks, alternating. Again, the arms are very close in. You're feeling the triceps contracting as you're extending back. Chest is still lifted, don't lean too far forward. And release. Take it on down to bridge position. Roll to your back. Take a pelvic tilt. Squeeze your glutes. Bring your triceps down to the ball. Now press through your chest, up and down. Squeeze your glutes hard. Contract your chest. Hold the arms down. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt. Contract hard. Hold. Now bow, push. Up, down, squeeze. Not such big range of motion in those hips. Stay tight and contracted. Feel your chest squeeze at the top of the move. Pull your lower abs in. Contract your butt hard. Just push through the chest. Down. Release down now. Place your dumbbells down beside you on the floor. Stabilize. Bring your feet under you. Take a pelvic tuck. Now lift the left leg up using the right leg. Lower it down and lift the other leg. Focus in the one leg working at a time. Change again, lift up, squeeze that glute, change, and once more, lift and squeeze. Down, now alternate, lift. Think about the leg on the floor, that's your working leg. Push through that glute muscle, squeeze it. Tighten on each one, squeeze, keep moving. Lower abs are in, really tighten as you lift, driving through the hips. Continue to squeeze. A few more. Up and down. Last time. And release it up. Whew. We're going to go to a mid-weight or a light. Come behind the ball. Drop down to your knees right behind the ball in the center. If you're a beginner, you might just stand and squeeze the ball. Arms up. Push overhead right and left. Up, now left, lengthening and reaching across, pulling in through your navel and standing really tall in your body with your elbows out to the sides at 90 degree angles. Keep your hands over your elbows. Now lift to the right and rotate in the core to the right. Do that again, you're squeezing your inner thighs. Rotate, keep those hands up, shoulder blades pinching and belly in. Once more, up and rotate. 
Now the left arm. Press and rotate left. Tighten your inner thighs. Keep your shoulders back. Chest lifted. This is tough. Feel your upper back. Squeeze. One more time. Tighten the glutes. Bring your arms down. Pinch your glutes. And push your inner thighs against the ball. Keep your chest open and back. Shoulders back. Tight rear end. Use your inner thighs. Bring the hands up. Tuck the ball. Now overhead again right. And rotate. Pinch the ball four times. Tight inner thigh pinches. Overhead left. To struggle to keep your arms up. It's part of the exercise. Try to keep them up. Tighten your inner thighs. Overhead again right. And rotate through your ribs. Tighten against the ball. Chest out. Overhead left, last set. Rotate. Inner thigh pinch. Last four. Woo. And release, excellent. Let's get a mat. We're going to work the back. You'll need your ball and one heavy weight and one light dumbbell. All right, come behind the ball, spread the feet out. Take the ball over to the left side. Drop that knee down. Level out the hips, extend the arms and row. Pull up and down. Do not arch the lower back. Pull the lower abs in. Squeeze the back as you're lifting straight up and down. Squeeze. Pop the chest slightly. Pull. Squeeze, last two. Up, down, hold, and pull. Squeeze it, pump. It's very close to the body. The upper arm is almost touching the body. Getting a tight pinch in the rhomboids and traps. Four, three, two, release. Get that light weight. Come down behind your ball. And over the ball into cobra. Squeeze the glutes. Bring your thumb back, squeeze the arm on the body. Now rotate, down in the shoulder and up. Rotate just in the shoulder. Don't move your forearm, just your shoulder and you're, then you're pinching your back as you're lifting and opening. Squeeze your glutes. Now sweep the arm to the front. Pull it front, rotate thumb up and squeeze your back. Rotate up and pinch the back as you come back. In and squeeze hard. Once more, pull and pinch. Change sides, extend the thumb up real close to the body. Now rotate down and up, pinching the back. Arm is very close in. You're not moving your forearm. You're moving the shoulder with a hard contraction as you rotate open. Sweep to the front. Pull front and back, thumb up. Pull it to the front. Sweep to the back. Again, up and back. Once more, sweep and pinch hard. Release, drop down. Let's stand up for the second side in row. Pivot this way. Drop to the knee in the center of the ball. Spread the feet slightly. Extend your arm down under the shoulder. Now lift, pull up and down. Squeeze. Feel the back working as you lift. Come up right at the chest. Pop the chest just a hair as you're coming up. Do not arch that lower back. Keep it tucked under. Pull your belly in and squeeze. Tight. Pinch. Pull. One more, up and pulse. Tight and close into the body. Moving through the back. Pinching hard. Three. Two, and release. Place that weight down, and we're gonna roll to the side. Bring the ball in close to you. Lean over the ball. If you're a beginner, stay on your knees. Take the legs out straight to the side and flex your feet. This takes a lot of core strength to balance. Stay totally sideways. Now lift the leg up and down. Tighten the hips. Knees and toes are forward. Keep your hips stacked and your chest lifted. Tighten up the thighs and squeeze the glutes. 
circle up. Now lift up and make a semicircle to the front, and then lift and semicircle to the back. You're making a heart shape. Up and stay very tight. Tighten to the core. Don't sink in your hip. Stay totally sideways. Lift and again, come up and around, up to the back, up and around. Keep pinching those glutes. Lift and around, up and to the back. Come up and around. Now, sweep it in and out. Pull in and lift your leg. And tighten the whole leg. Push to the heel and squeeze your butt. Abs are in. Don't cave forward or back. Focus on that core. Two more. Hold out. Lift the toe. Pinch. Pinch the glute. That'll roll the hip. Don't move the ankle. Move from your butt and hip. Squeeze it hard and it will move. Lift up and down. Tuck and squeeze. Whew, release. Bring that to the front. If you need to go down to your knee, you can do that as a beginner. If not, try to anchor up here. Extend the arms behind your head. Extend your body out over the ball. Feel the lengthening. Now come up and squeeze. Lift. Working the side muscles, the obliques. Right at the rib cage. Tighten up. Feel the squeeze. Between the hip bones and ribs. Come up and rotate. Turn in. Turn out and lower. Do that again. Lift and turn. Squeeze. And again. Lift and turn. Ooh, it's getting hard. Lift and turn. Ah, now fast with rotation. Up. Rotate up. Keep pulling in your abs. This is a long set. Stay with it. Focus right in that small area. Pelvic bones. Rib cage. Keep going up. Pull in your belly. Feel the extension and the contraction. Four times. Stay with it. Final two. Ooh, and release. Stretch out over the ball. Come up. Release down. Turn to the side. Bring your right leg forward. We're going to take it down into a pigeon pose. Stretching through that hip and extend the arm out. Lengthen, stretch your hip. Just breathe. Feel the work you just did. Inhale deeply. Now come up and extend out. Stretch your lats. Move from between the hands and the back. Long stretch. Breathe in and out and roll up. Let's go to push ups, girls. We're gonna come around the ball. Take it down to the knees. Bring the ball in closely, come over the ball. Straighten the legs. If you're a beginner, you don't wanna go very far out. Open the arms. We're gonna take it down into a push-up. Here we go, two counts down and up. Squeeze the chest. Don't let the belly drop. Don't arch your back. Nice and straight in the body. Hinging over and up without bending. Use your chest. Squeeze your chest. Pull in through your abdominal while. Tighten all the way through your pecs at the top of the move. Down with control. Hang in there. Two to go. Open the chest. Squeeze the chest. Last time. Release. Walk back. Get some dumbbells. We're gonna go to a mid-weight for a back row and triceps extension. Come down over the ball, pelvis on the ball, extend and lift. Row and kick back. Pull through the back and squeeze it. Extend the arms and use those triceps. Keep your shoulder blades open, pinching your chest open. Extend, pinch, extend. In and down, back, triceps, don't round forward. Squeeze, arms coming straight out from the shoulders and back. Last two, pull up, pinch. Once more, squeeze, excellent. And release the weight, stretch out over the ball. Just roll back, get a nice stretch. Whew, come up. You'll need a light dumbbell now. 
Stand up. Take one hand into the ball in the center. If you bend your knees, it's harder. If you straighten, easier. Thumb out now. We're going to use the arm and then the body. Bring it down. Thumb up and then rotate your body. Don't swing the arm. Come straight out and then rotate in your core. Be very careful on this part. Not to over press that shoulder to the rear. Good control. Don't swing. Again. Up and over. One more time. Thumb and rotate. Release. Take the weight in the other hand and stretch across through the back. Oh, that feels good. Now come up. We're going to do the other side. Set it up. Flat back over. Take the arm down. Start with the thumb up. Here we go. Up and rotate through the core. Bring the arm right under the shoulder. Let's not swing in. Right underneath. Lift and rotate. Lift the thumb and rotate the body. Good control. Shoulder, back. Use the arm, use the core. Stay in control. Come up and rotate. One more time. Lift and rotate. Nice job. Change the weight into the other hand. And now stretch across through that back. Lengthen your muscles. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Release. Let's get mid to heavy weights. We're going to be working French press, bridge, rib cage pullovers. Have a seat. Walk it down into bridge position. Head in the center of the ball. Pelvic tilt. Squeeze your glutes. Extend your arms over your shoulders. Pull your belly flat. Tuck hard in your rear. Now fold the arms to the rear. Keep the elbows straight over the shoulders. Work the triceps to extend the arms. Down and up. Keep the tuck. Don't let it go. Pulling in through your abdominals. Good control on the extension of the arms. And as you fold. Now, hands together. Rib cage slowly back and up. Don't lose your tuck. Feel your ribs. And up. Extend back. And up. To the back. Squeeze up. Now fast. Down and up, moving from the rib cage. Arms in tightly, down, up, four, stay in control, squeeze your glutes. Don't lose that tuck, belly in, two, release. Bring the weights to your hips, and now right left in the hips, pump right, pump left. Squeeze hard, tilt the pelvis. Don't use the lower back, fire the butt, up, Feel each one from side to side. Focus in on your glutes. Up, up. Now lift the heel on the left. Quick, quick, slow on the right. And slowly. Again. Don't arch. Keep it low and tight. Slow lift. Now fast. Quick, quick. And slow squeeze it. Again. Tight, tight. Slowly. Put the heel down. Lift your other heel now. Fast on the other side, pump, squeeze, squeeze, and up slowly in the glute. Don't arch, remember to keep your abs in, tight butt pinch, keep it low, all in your buttocks, not your lower back, up and down, come, fast, fast, and slow, both heels down, now slowly lift and hold that tuck, hard pinch, pull everything in, hold it, down and lift again, squeeze your glutes, tight, tight, don't let it go. Release. Place the weights down. Let's roll up. Move the weights out of the way. I'm going to roll side. Come down over your ball. Bring it very snugly in. Reach down to the floor. Keep the knee down if you need to to stabilize. Flex the feet, align the hips, and lift. Up and down. This is very core intensive and challenging. Try to keep the hips on the same plane. Your chest open. Stay tight. Now come up. Semicircle to the front. Come up and semicircle rear. Very tight and small range of motion. To the back. Lift and to the front. 
Lift to the back. You're making a little heart. Around, up, and around. Lift, stay tight. Small move. Lift and around. Up and back. Come up. Don't lose it. Stay in control. Last time with this. Now pull in and out. Pull in, extend. In and out. In, out, in. Don't fall. Hips level. Two more. Two. Hold out. Rotate your toe up. Little hitchhiker. Tightly squeeze your glute. That will rotate your hip open. Tuck and pull your lower abs in. Squeeze. Squeeze hard. Last two. And release. Bring that leg forward. Drop to the knee if you need to. Come up. Again, stabilize on the ball. Get balanced. Take your hands behind your head. Extend down through your oblique. Feel the lengthening of the muscles. And now contract. Come up and down. Up. Try to maintain straight up and down, like you're between two glass walls, not leaning forward or back. Two reps. Now come up and add a rotational move. Rotate in and then release over the ball, but not, don't release all the way. Stay in control through your abdominals. Good. Lift up and in, up, down. Squeeze and rotate. Now faster, move up, down. Feel your side. This is tough. Continue to try to stabilize. Lift and turn. Pull into the belly. Feel that squeeze in your side as you're coming up. Eight. Lift up. Woo. Four to go. We're almost there. Don't lose it. Continue to squeeze. Once more. Release out. Stretch. That was tough. Come up and go into pigeon pose. Bring your left leg forward. Sink down to stretch this left hip and extend the right arm. Just relax, inhale. And exhale. Come up. Let's move to heavy legs. You'll need heavy weight. Stand up, we're going to work the right leg and move the left leg. You'll want your toes forward. Place the toe on the inside part of the ball. If you're a beginner, you don't need to use a ball at this point. Bring the weights forward for counterbalance. You want to track your knee straight forward and push into the heel. Here we go. Down and hold. Take the leg out. Pull it in. And stand and squeeze your glute. Sit back in the leg. Stand and squeeze at the top. Push in the heel. Track the knee forward. If you let your ball slide a little bit to the front, it'll help you with this tracking. Speed it up now. It's out, squeeze. Stand all the way up and tighten your butt. Use your entire leg. Roll the ball out, pull in. Four reps, draw in through your belly button. And up, down and up. Hold down now and pump the leg. Fast, push, push. Push, and three, two, stand up, do that again, hold out, press, roll it, feel your support glute, and three, two, stand and balance, calf pumps, lift your heel off the floor, bicep down, squeeze your whole leg, tighten your quad and your butt, keep your shoulders back and your chest lifted, feel your calf contract. Once more, and now down and squat. Take it out and in and press overhead now. Push it down, roll out, pull in, stand up, squeeze the whole leg. Roll it out, pull it in, stand and squeeze. Down, out, up, tighten your rear. Two more, you can make it. Pull in and stand. Once more, down, out, in and squeeze. Release the weights. We're going into crunches with biceps. Get a mid weight. Sit on your ball. 
Walk it out. Pelvic tilt, elbows on the ball. Rib cage off the ball, contracting the abs. Now tuck, tilt the pelvis, and engage the transverse abdominis. Curl up and pull down firmly through your belly. Nice and tight, feel your lower abs on this. Keep your chest as open as you can. Tilt, now hold the tilt and curl down. Push, pull, down, up. Keep your chest open, keep the tilt. Down and up, down. Elbows into the ball, lower abs in flat. Down, keep going. A few more, tight, squeeze the abdominals. Now alternate right and left slowly. Down and up, down, up. You'll really feel this in your abs if your ribs are slightly off of the ball. Right arm down and both arms again. Stay tight in your abs, don't lose your tuck. Pull in flat in the abdominals. Just two more, down, up, down, and release. Get one lighter dumbbell. We're gonna pass it from hand to hand. Take your body back down, holding a hard pelvic tilt. Take this weight up. We'll begin with an empty hand. Here we go, right arm. Remember, your rib cage is off the ball. Your transverse abdominus is totally engaged. Now pass the weight. Down, down and up. Keep that hard contraction, don't let it go. Push, pull. Feel your back and then your chest. Keep tight in the belly. Two more. Release. Bring the weight down. Get a nice stretch in. Walk it out just a second. Roll it back up. Bring your hips up. Ribs off the ball. Pelvic tilt. Transverse. Those few inches around your belly button. Focus in right there. Pulling in. Tuck hard. Three. And two tucks. Hold it tight. Cross the arms. Crunch. Very small range of motion. Squeeze it. Feel each squeeze. Don't lose your tilt. Now reach out slow. Out. In. Out. In. Squeeze. Keep the tuck. Ribs off the ball if you can. Come up. Feel each fiber in the abdominals as you're lifting. Squeeze. Continue lifting. A few more. Tighten. Squeeze hard. Right at the belly button. Pull in. Keep going if you can. Last four. You can make it. These are hard. You don't have to do as many when it's this tough. And release. Whew. Excellent work. We're going to stand back up and work the other leg. Get your heavy weights. We're working the left thigh, so we'll be moving the right. Lauren's not going to use the ball. Place the foot in the center of the ball. Get that toe forward on the support leg. Fold your arms in front for counterbalance. Prep to work the left leg down in a squat. Here we go. Squat. Extend to the side, draw in, and stand all the way up. Down, and track the knees straight forward. Now stand fully up and engage the glute at the top. Press the leg out, in, and stand, squeeze. Down, and out, and in. Now fast, out, stand and squeeze. Out, and up, out, up, squeeze hard. Keep tracking your knees straight forward. Engage the glute at the top. Use the glute at the bottom. Last two. And up. Hold out. Work the leg fast. Out. 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 Feel that support leg? Stand up. Do that again. Out. Fast. Push it. Whew. Working that left thigh. Press three, two, Stand for calf raises, balance, lift through the heel, up, hammer curl down, lift high in the shoe, tighten your entire leg, and get your chest out and lift it, good, up, down, lift the heel, and down, up, it's hard, take it down in a squat again, down, and out, lift and press overhead, take it down, 
out. Keep dragging that knee straight forward and squeezing the glute at the top. Let it come a little bit forward with the ball so that your knee will track straight. Out, in, up, down, out, in. Once more, down, out, in, squeeze, release. Weights down. Stand and stretch your hamstrings. Long neck and back. Good job. Let's get the ball and light to mid weight. Standing behind the ball, drop those knees down into the ball again and engage your inner thighs and glutes. Lauren's just going to stand over the ball. You could sit on the ball. Tight squeeze in your hips. Bring the arms out in front. Now rotate the forearms out to the side. Lift overhead. Bring it down and in front of the belly. You want to keep those shoulder blades back and pinched. Chest open, shoulders open with excellent posture throughout the exercise. This is great for your alignment and your posture. Lift up. Continue to squeeze the ball with your knees, engaging the hips and thighs. Rotate out, lift up, once more, out and up. Now a two count lift to the side, slowly up and down. Keep your chest lifted and overhead, lift up, don't arch. Bring it down and to the side again with tight control. Bring it down and up again. Look up, but don't lean. Speed this up now. Go out and up. When you lift those arms over your head, you've got to squeeze your glutes really hard not to arch your back. Engage your inner thighs, pressing against the ball. Out. And tight glutes. Two more. Out. One more time. Out. Keep pinching. Release. Great job. Put the weights down. We're going to do some core training behind the ball on the floor. Kneel down. Bring the ball in closely. Fold your hands. Stand very tall in your torso. Belly in and pelvic tilt. We're going to extend the arms out and lean down onto the elbows, maintaining tight core posture. Are you ready? Let's go. Roll out and hold. Feel that core engage. Hold it. Now draw in and roll again. Come out onto the forearms, elbows under the shoulders. Tight core. Hold it. Draw in, and again, down, hips steady, back tight, everything squeezing, draw in, and again, roll out onto the elbows, belly in, and hold, draw in, last time, feel the core, I know you do, stay tight with the abs in, draw in, release, come down over your ball, onto the elbows, toes stay close to the floor. You'll want to hug the ball with your pelvis, gripping between your rib cage and your pubic bone, holding the belly flat. Now lift the left leg. When you're lifting the leg, you don't want to lose the lock in the hips. This intensifies the glute action, so keep it very tight and small, hugging the ball. Two, flutter the legs, alternate. Pump, 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 like you're swimming, nice and tight. Keep hugging the ball with your pelvis. Don't let go. Seven, six, five, four, three. Now the other leg slowly, up and down. Keep the grip in your pelvis, relock. Tuck in and hold it the entire time. You'll feel your glutes more. Squeeze each time at the top, pulling in at the abs. Now flutter the legs, this leg first, pump, pump, tight, like you're swimming, pump, keep going, keep the lock in your hips, lock down, seven, six, four, lift both legs up together now and take it out, again, don't lose that lock position, take it up and out, in and down, keep gripping the ball with your pelvis. Feel the outsides of your glutes as you take those legs out to the side. Up, out, in, one more time. Up and out, 
to the top and hold. Pinch the glutes. Release. Drop down. Roll through. We're going to roll to our backs now. Flip on through. Bring the ball up under your heels. Lying down. Extend the legs out so that your feet are in the middle of the ball. Take a pelvic tilt with flexed feet and come up to the top. Hold the squeeze. Tight hips. You want shoulder, hip, ankle alignment. Keep your hips here and engage now as you roll the ball in. Pull in and out. In, out. In, hold in, press out. Push, squeeze your glutes. Try to keep them in the same place throughout the exercise. Press, hold out. Pull in, squeeze. In, don't let the hips drop. Keep them tucked and tight. This intensifies the hamstrings. Hold in, press out. Push, squeeze, and in. Don't let them fall. Fight it hard, I know. Hold out, draw in. Pull in. Keep the squeeze in your glutes. Don't let it go. <sighs> Hold in. Place your feet on the ball. Readjust your hips up. Use a kickstand if you need to. <sighs> now tuck down. Push and squeeze. Align yourself with your hips, knees, and shoulders. You're coming up high. Now roll to the toes. Lift and heels. Try to ride your butt nice and high in this position, not letting it drop. These are very hard. Continue. Roll up, down, release. Roll back out. Extend the feet. Lift those hips. Squeeze. Draw in and out. Hamstrings. Keep that glute up and tight. Up. Hold in. Press out. Squeeze and in. Squeeze, ride your hips up, don't let them drop. Stay firm and tight. Hold, pull in, last set. Come in and squeeze your glutes. In, Whew. hold in, release. Whew. Let's wrap the legs over the ball. Extend the arms out to the side. And we're going to slowly twist to one side, pulling the belly button into the spine. Come up slowly and go the other way, twisting gently. Come up, abdomen in. Now lift that left heel up and down. Extend through the hamstring. Lengthen the back of your leg. Reach up to the heel. Keep a little air under your back. Hold up, reach up to your leg. Lengthen your hamstring, gently ease it in. Pull it across your body, stretch your IT band. Let this arm fall to the side. Take a deep breath. Fold the heel onto the other leg, open up. Roll this in. Adjust yourself over the ball for a deeper stretch. Hug it in. Stretching the hip. Easy, take a deep breath. Lower this down, and now that right hamstring. Lift the heel and touch. Lift. Actively lengthen the back of that leg. Keep that air under your back. Now hold up. Reach up towards the leg. Ease it in. Inhale. Exhale. Ease that across. Let the other arm fall to the side. Nice stretch in the IT band. Lengthen. Release. Fold the leg down. Open the knee. Roll the ball in towards you. Get a nice hip stretch. Grab the ball a little bit more. Tuck it in and hold. Gently stretching through the hip. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Let's sit up. Extend the legs out. Bring that right leg across. Flip the ball. Ease and sit up. Easing towards the leg. Gently twisting the spine. And open up that chest. Reaching back, belly in, deep breaths. Release in, extend this leg, flip it over, hug in, sit tall, extend the arm out, 
and open that stretch. Easy twisting and release. Let's sit on the ball. Stand up. Have a seat. Feet, knees, or hip width. Sit tall. Shoulders back. Inhale, lift the arms. Open the chest. Chin up. Spread the chest. Shoulders back. Inhale, lift your arms. And exhale, rotate over to the right. Pull your belly in and turn carefully. Now extend the arms. Reach down to the ankle, open the palm. Lengthen through your whole body. Breathe in and release. Fold forward, ease over. Round up through the spine. Down through the back and up through the spine. Lateral right, stretch out, release. Stand up, bring the ball between the legs and rotate, calf stretch. Flexing that front knee, extending through the arm. Now lift up and go again. Down and lengthen. Don't let the shoulder drop. Reach through your back. Feel your calf. Release. Sit on the ball. Inhale. Rotate. Gently twist. Belly in. Shoulder back. Open the arms. Reach up. Palm is open. You're reaching down to the ankle. Inhale and release. Come down, spread the feet. Down in your roll, up, roll through the spine. Down and up. Now lateral stretch on the left. Lengthen your side and release. Stand up, pivot, press your heel down, lengthen through your calf and lat. Come up and do that again. Stretch through your back, pushing your heel. Stretching, inhale, and exhale, come up, face the front, extend out, both arms stretching through the back, keep those shoulders from dropping through, roll the spine up and lengthen again, hold, reaching and stretching the back, don't drop the shoulders, now lunge on the right and open the arm, open, palm is open, cross through that lat stretch, take a deep breath, Come up, pivot around, press your heel down, take a pelvic tilt, get your ball, lift up over your head, nice straight arms, lengthen up, slowly rotate to the front, roll the ball around, and lap stretch the other way with a lunge, cross over, open that palm, roll it out, don't let your shoulder drop through, feel your back stretching, and come up. Take it into the hip flexor stretch. Rotate, tuck your hips, squeeze your glute. Reach down, lift your arms up nice and straight. Squeeze, pelvic tilt. Open the chest, rotate and release. Now to the front, take a deep breath in and out. Push to the right, press, press, press and center it, lift up, don't arch, reach. And exhale, push to the right, lengthen, up, and that deep inhale, squeeze and release one more time, reach across, cross, cross, stretch up, reach back, and exhale, wonderful workout, thank you.